Something's amiss at Boeing. Over the past few weeks, there have been headlines surrounding the cancellation of orders for the 777X, the aircraft expected to be a breakthrough for Boeing. Amidst Boeing's efforts to recover from previous crises, this decision raises serious doubts about the manufacturer's strategy and the future of this long-awaited aircraft. But who decided to cancel these orders? And why? Let's find out. Boeing has just adjusted the order list for the 777X by removing 38 aircraft from its backlog and transferring them into a special category known as the accounting bucket. This is how Boeing handles orders that are at risk of not being fulfilled, rather than canceling them outright. The accounting bucket allows Boeing to temporarily set aside uncertain orders so that they do not negatively impact the financial reports. These orders may eventually be permanently canceled or reinstated if circumstances change. This adjustment helps the U.S. aircraft maker manage risk by ensuring that the order backlog more accurately reflects reality and does not rely on uncertain agreements. So far, Boeing has received impressive orders for the 777X from renowned international airlines. However, 38 units have been moved into a separate bucket, a category reserved for orders where the customer is not clearly defined. This adjustment means that the total number of pending orders for the 777 program, including both the 7X and 777F, will decrease from 464 to 426. This shows that Boeing is proactively refining its order list. By doing so, the company is not only better managing its risks, but also laying a solid foundation for the future in an ever-changing aviation market. But what is the reason Boeing had to move these 38 aircraft into the accounting bucket? But wait, thanks for sticking around until now. Please help us hit 40,000 subscribers by smashing that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's a small click for you, but a giant leap for us to keep bringing you great content. Thanks a ton. It can be understood that the decision to cancel orders is not made arbitrarily. Rather, it reflects some core issues in the relationship between the seller and the buyer. Firstly, external factors such as customers' financial difficulties and unfavorable economic conditions often play a significant role. When the business environment becomes unstable, the budgets of airlines or customers can be severely affected. This situation forces them to reassess their ability to uphold large order commitments, especially with high investment products like the 777X. Financial risks and concerns about market volatility prompt the cancellation or postponement of orders to mitigate potential losses. Secondly, the reason may also stem from a mismatch between the product and the buyer's actual needs. Sometimes, the product offered by the seller does not meet the customer's expectations in terms of quality, specifications, or delivery timing. If the aircraft fails to satisfy specific requirements or isn't delivered at the right moment, the customer is likely to seek alternative options that better align with their fleet development plans. This incompatibility is a key factor driving the cancellation of orders. If we carefully analyze the reasons behind this order cancellation, we may be able to speculate which airline has rejected the 7X. Could it be those struggling financially or those seeking an aircraft that better aligns with their fleet development strategy and timeline? Let's take a closer look at market signals to gain a clearer understanding of the real motives behind this cancellation decision. The prolonged delays of the 777X have sparked significant frustration among airlines. In this context, Emirates, the Dubai-based carrier and the largest Boeing 777 operator, has repeatedly voiced concerns and demanded clear commitments from Boeing regarding delivery timelines. The airline has placed a total of 205 orders, including 170 777-9s and 35-8s, to meet its urgent need for large aircraft. However, due to continuous delays and the negative impact of these setbacks, it is possible that Emirates has run out of patience and decided to cancel its order for the Dash 8, a smaller variant that has been given less priority compared to the Dash 9. The delays have not only affected the aircraft delivery schedule, but also created significant challenges for Emirates in planning its fleet. As the airline continues operating older 777 models due to the 7X delays, it has struggled to adjust and optimize its operations. Despite maintaining a long-standing partnership with Boeing and possessing extensive knowledge of all 777 variants, Emirates has not been immune to rising costs and risks associated with long-term fleet planning. 
Thanks to the seamless transition between 777 variants requiring minimal crew training, the 7X was initially considered an ideal addition to Emirates' fleet. The airline had high confidence that this aircraft would serve as a cornerstone of its future fleet, enabling it to operate high-demand routes across six continents. However, the prolonged delays have gradually eroded its initial confidence and optimism. The cancellation of the Dash 8 order, despite being a smaller scale model compared to the Dash 9, could be viewed as a strategic move to mitigate risks at a time when the demand for large aircraft remains urgent. Not stopping there, Etihad, another reputable Middle Eastern airline, is also under heavy pressure due to Boeing's delays. As a result, the airline has had to invest up to one US billion in refurbishing its older aircraft to maintain service standards and operational efficiency. Eddie had placed an order for 25 777X aircraft, including 17-9s and 8-8s, and likely the airline has partially canceled orders that no longer align with its operational needs. This analysis is based on Fligavia's perspective, as no official information has been released regarding which customers have canceled their 777X orders. Do you agree with this view? Comment one inch below if you do. If not, which airline do you think has canceled more than 30 orders amid these turbulent times? Share your thoughts and see if they align with our analysis. Delays are not unique to any one manufacturer, but the issues surrounding this Boeing aircraft have caused significant disruptions to the aviation industry, with even the manufacturer itself facing compensation claims. Despite some fluctuations in the backlog, Boeing continues to see strong and steady demand for the upcoming 7X. This indicates that the removal of certain orders should not be interpreted as a critical issue for the aircraft or a recurring trend. Instead, it is a strategic adjustment to the order book, helping the U.S. manufacturer navigate past challenges and move toward a more favorable period ahead. Over the past two years, Boeing has secured numerous order commitments for the 777X, particularly the Dash 9 variant. While airlines have expressed frustration over delivery delays, Boeing argues that these concerns are entirely valid given the aircraft's high technical requirements and ambitious development goals. Globally, many airlines are actively renewing and expanding their fleets to meet long-haul travel demands, and the 7X is seen as a long-term solution with superior performance. For instance, Riyadh Air is considering a major order, with the 777X positioned as a strong competitor to the Airbus A350-1000 in a potential deal for up to 50 aircraft. Beyond Riyadh Air, several other airlines worldwide have also shown keen interest in the aircraft. Riyadh Air is considering a large order, and the 777X is competing with the Airbus A350-1000. Which aircraft do you think the airline will choose? Notably, this aircraft was introduced in 2013, at a time when its predecessor was still relatively new for most airlines. This meant that the market was not yet fully ready to embrace a next-generation version, making that period less ideal for its launch compared to the present. Moreover, as the aviation industry shifts away from four-engine aircraft in favor of modern, fuel-efficient, and operationally cost-effective twin-engine jets, this aircraft stands out as a crucial solution. With its high passenger capacity and cutting-edge design, this aircraft is positioned to help airlines modernize their long-haul fleets while enhancing efficiency and adaptability in an ever-evolving market landscape. In the coming years, Boeing will need additional time to complete the necessary steps for certifying the 777X and bringing it into commercial service. Initially, the company aimed to launch the aircraft this year, but significant delays forced a revision of its original timeline. Currently, the U.S. aircraft maker expects that, barring further setbacks, certification and first deliveries will take place in 2026. However, not everyone is fully reassured by this timeline. Major airlines, particularly Emirates, remain skeptical about Boeing's ability to adhere to the revised schedule given its history of repeated delays. In terms of certification, the 7X could be up to six years behind its original plan. While delays are not uncommon for new commercial aircraft, Airbus has faced similar challenges, the extent of this aircraft's setbacks is seen as unusual, especially considering the broader challenges and complexities Boeing has faced in recent years. Every detail, no matter how small, has now come under intense scrutiny. Emirates' skepticism has become even more evident as the airline has suggested it may face even longer delays. 
In an optimistic scenario, the first delivery could be pushed to the second quarter of 2027, while in the worst case, it might not happen until 2028. This highlights the fact that Boeing must not only overcome its current challenges, but also ensure that no further issues arise during flight testing and certification, particularly to meet the stringent requirements set by the FAA. Once the 777X is certified and deliveries begin, the pressure on Boeing's timeline and reputation will ease significantly, allowing the company to reaffirm its position in the market. However, the key question remains, when will this multi-billion dollar aircraft actually debut? This is something that many are eagerly watching. Thank you for following today's episode. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe Boeing will overcome its current hurdles and bring its new aircraft into service on time? What topics would you like us to analyze next? Leave your suggestions below. Thank you, stay well, and see you in the next episode.